in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can host your courses on telegram all for free yes i mean 100 percent free i've been hosting my courses i mean my pay courses on telegram for the past two to three years and it's been super super amazing i love the fact that the app has some things that helps you protect your intellectual property to the extent that people will not be able to take a screenshot they won't be able to download the videos to their phone gallery and they will not be able to forward their videos or any content on that particular page to anybody on their contact list isn't that amazing and all this you get it for 100 percent free all this feature i've actually talked about are actually available on both the telegram group and the telegram channel so anyone that you want to use to host your courses is absolutely fine the major difference is just that um telegram channel does not allow communication at all while telegram group allows interaction between you and your student they'll be able to type something they'll be able to you know say something in the in the group and there's even a way you can actually set it if you don't want them to type anything but my best bet i've test out the two and i choose to always host my courses on telegram group rather than telegram channel okay i use the two so i use telegram channels for my physical products where i sell to wholesalers and retailers and i use my telegram group for my digital product where i sell my paid courses and that will not allow anybody to download the course one of the major reasons i choose telegram group for my digital products is the fact that it has a particular feature called topics oh my god this feature allows you to categorize your videos or your content into various modules just like um chapters or how would i put it various modules right so i can have um module one or let's say chapter one and i have three different videos on that and i have another one which is chapter two and i have four different videos under that so i love that particular feature called topics and it helps me segment and categorize my videos to various modules for easy understanding and easy consumption so with this the course is not all in one place and people are confused on where to start no it is divided into various segments and this actually helps me um, helps my students understand better and comprehend easily and makes the course easy for every one of us so come along to my phone let me show you how to do this practically so i'm going to open my telegram app open my telegram app the next thing you want to do is click on this pencil icon at the bottom right corner and then click on new group or new channel like i said the settings are actually the same okay so i'm just going to be using a group for um for test okay so when you want to open a group you have to add at least one person to it to be able to create the group so i'm just going to add my order number the second number to this and i'll click on this blue go button the next thing is for us to give our group a name so i'm just going to give it a uh, tutorial tutorial group okay once i'm done i'll click on this good sign and you can also add an image to your your group okay before you click on the good sign so this is what you have and this group can contain two hundred thousand people this is one of the reason a lot of people are rushing to telegram because it has capacity okay persistent group chat public link search and admin with different rights i love that particular admin with different rights because i can select what admins can do so what you want to do is now tap on the name of the group okay and click on this pencil icon so here you can click here to add a profile picture so let's um tap on set photo okay so i could just um what picture <laughs> let's just use this let's just use this okay 
so once i'm done the next thing i want to do is come here we are going to follow this process please pay attention okay click on group type this group type you can see we have private group and we have public group private group means that it is only you and the people you give the group links to will be able to see it public group means that the group can be searchable anybody that knows the name of the group or anybody that knows the name of a similar group if they search for that name your own group is likely to also pop up okay so if you don't want that we don't want this we're just going to click on private group now you have this link this link here you can copy it it directly takes people to your telegram group if you give anybody this link it will bring people directly to your telegram so i don't advise you to share this group link with anybody but you can add it to your website as a redirect link for people who have already made payments or you can add it to your seller sales page as the redirect link after people have made payment they will they will not be able to see the link they will just be redirected but this is the one i actually use come here and click on manage invite link okay then create a new link click on create new link and you want to come here to the top and click on request admin approval so this means that once you turn this on it means that anybody that has this new link if you don't admit them into the group they will not be able to enter the group so this link should be for people who are making transfer or making payment directly into your bank account who do not have access to your website so they will not get redirected automatically so you can click here to request they will request approval so the group this will not allow them enter the group until you approve it now we can give this link a name um, you can give it the name of your course so i'm just going to put test and i'll click on create link so leave this this is is not really um it depends <laughs> but i don't think you need this just click on create link and this is the link that we just created how to copy the link you click on these three dots and you click on copy link so anybody that you share this link with even if they share it with another person the person will not be able to have direct access to the class until they have made payments because once you see somebody that did not pay you trying to access your class what do you do you reject the request of the person so the next thing is we'll go back click on this back button okay so we want to come here to the bottom this is the particular option that restricts people from taking screenshots um, downloading your videos to their gallery um, forwarding your content to anybody so this particular feature it is if i turn it on right now my screen will go blank yes that is how secure this particular platform is that is how it is even if they are trying to screen record <laughs> even if the person is trying to screen record the video or any of your content it will not allow them so the next thing we want to do is now come to chat history this is very important and turn it on to visible you want to turn it on to visible so that people who are just joining will be able to see the previous messages on your group this is very very lovely and one of my favorites i mean the best thing i love about this group um training or having a telegram group for my course is this topic option so i can turn on this topic and what happens it means that i can use this to create sections and modules for my courses so that it will be well categorized and people will be able to understand and everything will not be scattered the next thing you want to do is come here to reaction if you want or have a specific reaction you want um, you click on this all reaction or some reaction okay um, click on some reaction and you'll be able to see all other reactions that people can actually you know maybe they can thumbs up they can like it they can give you high five they can give you smiley face and the likes this is not actually necessary but if you want you can turn on some of the ones you like okay you can turn on some of the ones you like and let's click on back we go back and you come to this permission click on permission and you see 
what members can do what are the members what can they do can they send text messages do you want them to send text messages do you want them to send media do you want members to be able to add other people and do you want them to be able to pin messages change chat info and the like so i just turn all this off i don't want them to be able to do any of this all they have to do is come here consume the course content and go back because i usually have whatsapp support group for my courses because whatsapp is actually easy and people will come here consume the course content and go back to the whatsapp support group to um complain show us what they have learned practice and share their knowledge with us and the like so that is it so this slow mode is actually for um how frequent you want messages to come in to your group if you want well, me, like I said, I just turn all this off. I don't want people to send message or the likes. I have a WhatsApp support group for that. And see, um, I don't know what this is for. So do not repost that. I don't usually use this. So you can come here and um, see the number of people you have removed. And you can add an exception to all this rule. So it means that you can add somebody that you want to ex exempt from all these rules if you want so once you are done so once you are done you click on this good sign at the top right corner okay i'll click on the good sign and it will automatically apply the next in is come to administrators i'll click on add admin and i'll add this number as an admin so these are the permissions that are available to do you want the person you added as an admin to be able to do all these things? Check it and see what you want the person to do. Sometimes I sell the resale rights for my products, the master resale rights for some of my courses. And I want to add those people as an admin. But the only thing I allow them to do is just to add users. So I turn off all this and I'm able to, they are able to add users alone. They will not be able to change the group info, delete messages or send messages, do live stream, add an admin. No, 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 no. So once I'm done, I click on good. Okay. Before you can add somebody as an admin, you must have added the person to this group. Okay. Either by sharing the first link I showed you or by sharing the second link with them and allowing them to join. If you want to remove somebody from the group, let's go back. So come to members right here, come to members and you can click on the three dots beside the person's name and remove the person from the group. So this is how you can remove somebody from the group. In case you don't have a second telegram number, just like me, you can add um, maybe any of your friends or your relative and later remove them just for the purpose of opening the group. Okay. So um, I guess that is it statistics is just for you to see um how frequent people are working your group and the likes your recent actions you can see but the most important things we needed to do has been done already once you're good click on this good sign at the top and everything will automatically save for you and that is how you can protect your intellectual property from your students so um like i said you can add topics you can click on this plus sign once you have turned on that add topics so you can see this is a new topic so you can give it um, a name like start here and you click on create okay you can give it an emoji of your choice so once you are done you can see start here so let's go back you will see that this particular thing has been created as a topic can you see so you can add as many topics as you want. Um, you can add part two. Okay. Select any emoji that suits um, your topic and click on create. So let's go back and see. You can see I have start here and I have part two. So this, um, the most recent one that you created will be at the top. So what do I do? I usually long press on this and pin it according to the way it's supposed to be. But please note you can only pin five. So you can, you know, look for ways to be able to adjust it. So, so as you can see, this has been created and the part three is at the top, part two is next 
and start here is next it's not properly arranged so what do you do you start from the lowest one please note you can only pin five topics you start from the lowest one so what i do is i'll go to number three i'll long press on it and click on pin at the top here it will pin i click on number two and pin it you can see it has arranged it and i click on the first one the first one is what i pin last so i pin it here and you can see pin start here part one part two part three as the way it should be so the next thing is for you to upload your pictures your videos your text your voice notes and anyhow you want it so you tap on any of the topics you want and you click on the um, attachment sign attachments to be able to go to your phone gallery and upload your videos from there or upload the image or if you want to do a voice note all you have to do is hold the microphone button down pull it up and it will pin the microphone until you finish recording whatever you want to record once you are done you click on send and that is it so that is how to host your course on telegram and protect your intellectual property this also applies to telegram channel it is the same settings so don't fret so choose anyone you like and use them and that is it i hope you got value from this if you did do well to leave me a wonderful comment in the comment section and let me know if there's any other thing you would like me to create content on in my next video so give this video a like so that the youtube algorithm can show it to more people and subscribe if you haven't <laughs> you're missing out a lot because i'm here to give you value back to back to back to back so click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be one of the first set of people that gets notified when i upload a new amazing video thank you so much for watching i remain my humble self from cat alimi i'll see you in my next video ciao